Now he has pet too. This is the story of rebuilding. It is about my story. I'm going to tell you how the model idea came to my mind, sharing with you my trials and errors from the start through the end. By showing the way how I created, especially how and why I failed and recovered, I hope the viewers get a hint or a tip for their own creation and imagination. Okay, firstly, I focused on the original feature of the package, especially the primary colors and the introduced model. Of course, they are navy blue and white, and it is a shark. So, those characteristics made me think of one model idea. It was a dolphin. Dolphins have a bluish and whitish body color like sharks. Therefore, I easily thought that if I build a dolphin, I could reuse the structure of the bottom half part of the shark. Then I, I started trying to make a dolphin beak first, but soon I found that it went not well. Because when I thought about the whole proportion of the dolphin body, the beak width should be something like the size of one Lego stud. But it was very challenging to build other body parts aligning with the size of the beak from balance and piece availability point of view. Then I gave up the idea of building a dolphin. So I needed to start over from the first step. Then I did a self brainstorming session of what I could rebuild juggling pieces. Through the session, another idea came up to my mind with these six small white pads placing like this. Don't you think they look like six pack abdominal muscles? I did. With this idea, I thought I could build a gorilla utilizing these six pack parts. Based on the idea of white six-pack ab muscles, I tried to build a gorilla. But I faced another hard thing soon again. Before starting the actual building, to make sure of the appearance of a gorilla, I checked its image on the internet. And I noticed they have no visible white six-pack ab muscles in their front. Instead, some males have a super back. Over again, I needed to throw my idea away. Anyway, whatever the reason, I wanted to keep on building a gorilla from the Lego. So, I decided to stick to the idea of a gorilla. Even though I got a series of failures, I have one lesson learned from those. It is about the physique. Even when I build a gorilla or something with Lego, I should follow an actual balance of physique of what I try to have. Then, for a correct understanding of the gorilla physique, I checked gorilla's bone structure images on the internet. And I learned that gorilla's arms are as long as its backbone and their legs are much shorter than their arms. Additionally, I wanted to make this model playable with a certain level of movability. Luckily, there are multiple pairs of joints given in the box. So, I wanted to give the gorilla some joints at the body's major moving elements. Two for shoulders, two for wrists, two for hip, two for ankles, and one for the neck. After having a high level blueprint of a gorilla, I started the actual building from the body through the arms and legs. When I built the body, I paid attention to place white pads at the back for its silver back and navy pads in his front, giving him a muscular chest and broader shoulders. Also, while I placed shoulder joints, toward the backside, 
hip joint was placed toward front side, caring for the length of longer arms and shorter legs. A same as the body, for arms, I arranged the navy pads front and white and gray pads back. About legs and feet, I utilized these curved white pads to give roundness to those feet. As the last pet of the gorilla, I tried to build his head. At first, I tried to use a pair of jewel looking pieces for his shiny eyes, just because those blocks are left unused and I thought it makes him look cool. But with the idea of shiny eyes, they didn't look like what I expected, no more a gorilla. So I needed to abandon this idea and I reached a deadlock again. But the solution to the problem came unexpectedly. When I accidentally inverted the head pad upside down, removing jewel pieces, the face looked like one of the gorillas more naturally. Then, from the idea, I again started building the gorilla head. To the central pad of the face, I added the chin with gray blocks, side cheeks with thin plates, forehead, and the neck joint while trying to use the remaining pieces as many as possible. Having built most of the pads, I supplemented the model with the remaining pieces adding round shaped bottom, both sides of flanks, giant fists with thumbs. So finally, I built up a gorilla from the package. But still, I have some remaining elements in the box. Then, I decided to give him his companion for jungle life. It is a tropical parrot. Since the most remaining pieces are red and smaller ones, I figured out to have this little bird. For her beak, I used a triangle paw piece to represent her wings. These blade-shaped pieces are reused and those beige pieces are used to portray how feathered. Additionally, I placed two hinge pieces on both sides to let the wings look more dynamic and natural. And lastly, I used one joint part at the bottom to give her tail feathers a more natural angle. So, how are the story of my struggles? I hope it will help you develop your idea when you try to build your own model. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. That's all for today. How do you like this episode? If you like it, please give me your thumbs up. Also, any comment, request, or idea if you have, please share it with me in the comment field below. Finally, please click the subscribe button so that you won't miss my future episodes. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.